welcome to the another episode for d65 for finance and operation and in this video i'm going to share you the idea of agreement in this video i'm going to share you how you create our trade agreement in d65 for finance and operations for a purchase order for going to in a scenario one thing is more important if you create a new legal entity this option is essentially required that this is the item vendor price vendor group all vendors this option you must be enabled uh, for you find this option in procurement and sourcing and then price and discount and then for you find this option in procurement and sourcing and then set up price and discount and activate price and discount so in this link you find a three options item vendor vendor group all vendors these options must be enabled so now i'm going to create a trade agreement and let me see one item uh, let me show you one item and one vendor suppose that we have one vendor so for current scenario i have a one vendor and then i create a purchase order for that vendor for a specific item and the, its original price will be shown there and then i will go to create a trade agreement and if i go to create a purchase order for this person and here i'm going to create a purchase order i select the vendor 1002 and i click on ok 100 this default price you can see 89900 so i for testing purpose for creating a trade agreement we have to go in procurement and sourcing module then prices and discount and click on trade agreement journals so here i am going to create a new purchase agreement and for that this is the purchase uh, this line and here is the option that i have to select the table i will i don't want to apply this trade agreement for all vendors so i have to select the table then there is option for a group and there is option for all when we select all the trade agreement will be created for all vendors but i and then there is option for group so if i select the option of a group then the trade agreement will be applied to all vendors that belongs to that group for selection of a specific vendor i select the tables and from that drop down i select the 1002 and product definitely i want so again this again i select the same product 100 and you uh, there is multiple options that i can select the site one and similarly i can select the warehouse raw material and i i set the currency amount about a thousand hundred a thousand eleven hundred and uh, the, I'm currently working on USMF legal entity. So our default currency will be USD. So I'm not going to change it. If your organization working in a different currency, definitely you have to select. And it will be validated from uh, today is 20th October 2022. So I'm selecting the 18th and, and the end of the month, this trade agreement will be. So I'm saving it and then I'm posting it and click ok so operation is completed and if i drop down post it if i want to show the post it so i have to select the post it from here and you can see the price 2022 price purchase order trade agreement will be created so i'm going again into purchase i'm not going into detail for purchase order 
but in short i'm going to create a new purchase order with minimum fields so click on new i select the same vendor which is a trade in trade agreement it is a one double zero two and click ok and here i select the item item is 1000 and side will be one fair you can see the price is 899 and if i select the warehouse you can see one uh, 1100 price will become that is the price coming from trade agreement thank you for watching see you in another video don't don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you for watching